All right, welcome back to Globe Sweeper Hex Puzzler. Today, we're going to start by taking a look at brackets, and we'll see if I have time for more than just that. So this is a cluster plus groups level, and this one is also, as I have been saying about pretty much all of the levels recently, also pretty tricky. So, to crack into this one, we have to look at this three group and these two twos here. This three group means that we can only have single tiles surrounding this three. We need to have three individual groups, which means we either have these three tiles marked or these three tiles marked. There's no other way to have three individual groups surrounding a, a uh, three hexagon, three group hexagon. So we know we'll have either these three or these three, which means these two tiles cannot both be marked, and these two tiles cannot both be marked. If both of these were marked, then we would have to disconnect these two, but then we would only have one group, and then possibly one more group, so only two groups total. So because of that, we know we only use one tile here, and one tile here. So for both of these twos, we have to use these two tiles. That now gives us a four. Now, the four can go left or right, but what happens if it goes left? We would have one tile here, and then two tiles here. The two would now be completed, so this tile would be removed. And then the three here, since we have this tile now, would only be completable by having this, this, and this tile. So this tile would have to be removed as well. So the four would have one and two, and then has to go three and four. And then if it doesn't go here, then it will regardless have to go one, two, three, and then one more here. So either way, these two tiles have to be marked for this four chain. Now, I found that the easiest way to just continue is, is a little unintuitive, but that is just to think about this tile. What happens if this tile is marked? If we were to mark the center tile, that means that this three will only be completable by using this tile and these two tiles, so this tile has to be removed, right? But then the four here, has three tiles already. Actually, you don't even need to think about that. You can only think about the four. If this tile is marked gold, then the four here has three, so it cannot go here, because then it would be a five cluster, and it cannot go here, because then it would be a five cluster, so it would have to go over here. But because we're then removing these two tiles, we now have two groups for this one group clue. We would have three tiles here, and one tile here. So this tile is not possible to mark, or this one group clue doesn't work, so we have to remove the center tile. Because we removed the center tile, we now only have one valid configuration for the three group here. We have to use all three of these clues, because if we use either of these two, it is not possible to have three separate groups anymore. So we get these three, and these are removed. Now this two is already done, this four cluster is already done, and then this two group has one group already, and we need to add in one more group, and the only tile where that's possible is this one. We have to mark this tile and cut this one off here, making it two separate groups. So that is part one of this. Now here we have the three cluster here that has to go over here for two tiles, and then we'll have to use one of these two tiles, meaning this tile that's connected to both of them cannot be marked either way. That now gives us a one group. And now you have to think about what happens if, regardless of whether the uh, three goes here or here, if the three goes here, the three cluster will be done, so these two tiles will be removed. And then the one will be tied to one golden tile, one reactive tile, and it cannot have another tile within these three squares or tiles, because it can only be in one single group. And in the same way, if this three were to go up here, we would again disconnect all of these tiles because the three cluster would be done. And then this one group could only have this tile because none of these can be marked or it would be two groups. So because of that, this one cluster, uh, one uh, group can only have one tile either here or here because they have to be disconnected from the three. So these four tiles cannot be marked at all for this one group. I hope that's a good enough explanation. Man, it's so hard to think about all these. But doing that lets us now see this two group. Since we only have three tiles here for a two group, 
the only way to have two separate tiles within these two, these three tiles is to have the edge tiles and a gap in the middle. So we can do that right away, giving us a two here, that's already done. And once again, we get a three tile, two group. We can mark these two tiles and remove the center here. This two is now done. And we don't know much else. We can, uh, we can deduce this tile, but it doesn't really matter. So we can just leave that for now, I think. Instead, we look at this four cluster here. Let's think how this four cluster can move. If we have one tile here, if this four cluster goes down this way, how far can it go? We can go one tile and then two tiles. Can we use a third tile here? We cannot because we have a two group here. If we were to mark all three of these tiles, there would be no way to add in a second group here for this two. If we use two tiles here, we have to cut this off and then mark this tile to make it two groups for this two. So at most we can use one tile going downward here for the four. So if it uses this tile, the four will use one, two, three, and four. That is the only configuration. If it doesn't use this tile, then it once again still needs to use one, two, three, and then one here. So regardless of whether it uses this tile or not, we still have to use these two tiles for the four. Because of that, we've already completed this four, which is done. Sorry, bad stutter. Now we get a three group clue, which lets us know that none of these tiles can be connected. The only way to complete this three, uh, three group is to have this kind of a uh, shape with a gap, two gaps in the middle, two gaps in between rather. This two is now done. This two is now done. And this two lets us mark this tile. And if we move on here, we need two groups in these three tiles. Once again, we cannot use the uh, center tile here. These two have to be marked, which gives us three groups here. So this one can't be marked. And then two tiles here, two groups within three tiles. And just these ones. This two is now done. And now we start thinking about the, uh, the four and the seven. So here, the seven has one tile. It has to go over here for two, which completes this two. And this two is now done. This two is now done. And then this seven has two. It has to go up here for three. And now this tile has to be removed because we can't connect up the four cluster and the seven cluster, which means the seven has to go this way and the four has to go this way, which again means we have to cut them off because they can't connect. And this three tile is now done which means we now have to mark this tile as the fifth tile in this seven cluster. And this two group now only has three tiles total, which again means we have to connect, uh, disconnect the center tile and mark this edge tile. Two here, two here, and two there. This three is already done, and this three lets us mark this tile. And now we have six tiles in this seven cluster, and we'll either have to go here or here. Either way, one of these two will be marked, and the bordering tile here cannot be marked. If we mark this one, then we would have to make this an 8 cluster in any way. So this tile can be removed. Same here, we have three tiles in this four. We can use one of these two tiles, either here or here. Regardless, this tile cannot be marked. So that has to be removed. Now, the tricky part is figuring out what we can do with the rest of this. and. The easiest way is to just look at this tile. This four has two options. What happens if it goes here? If this four goes here, then these two tiles have to be removed because the four cluster is already done. And then the seven can only be completed by using this tile. But then we've used two tiles for this one group, this one and this one. So that doesn't work. We have two groups on this group, one group. So this tile simply cannot be used at all. And I'm pretty sure you can also look at... No, I guess you could use this one. Can you look at this one? Like if this one is used, then this would be disconnected and then this would be disconnected. No, I guess that works too. Yeah, that is that is the only way that I've been able to find. This tile just simply cannot be marked, so that has to be removed. Now giving us a, a three clue. Sorry, I'm like figuring these out myself pretty much <laughs> while I'm uh, solving them, but yeah. Here we go, we now have a seven cluster, so this is done. And now we have to go all the way back to where we did this whole thing. We have three tiles in this four, so this has to be the fourth tile, and that's done. This two group clue has one group, so we have to add in a second group here. 
completing this two here and the one here and just solve these normally here once again we have two group in three tiles so remove the center tile mark the edge tile this one group lets us know that these two have to be connected and the only way to connect them is to connect up these two tiles so it has to be one shared group now we get a four cluster that's already done so just unmark all of those let's move on up here to, to begin with this two is done the one here this one group lets us know that we have to connect up this and this tile so this has to be marked to make it one single group and now this one tile is done so that has to be removed and this tile has to be marked finally completing this three cluster that we've left for so long and then this final tile for the three here now we can move on downward here and once again we have a three group and the only way to make three tiles separate is to use these three we cannot use the center tile here so that has to be removed now we have a one group with two marked tiles, which means we have to connect up these tiles, and the only way to do that is to mark all of them, like so. And that gives us a five cluster, which is also already done, so we can disconnect it from all the uh, surrounding tiles. We have a four here, and a three here. Uh, this one group clue, we already have one group, so we can't add in another tile that's separate, so that has to be removed. This two now has to have this tile marked, this one is done. Two group in three tiles, remove the center and mark the edge. And now for this two group, we have a nine cluster here. So we have one tile here. We have to mark this tile for two. We have to mark this tile for three. But now for this two group, we have to disconnect this tile or it would be one single group, not two groups. So this one has to be removed. And then the, the nine here goes onward three, four, five and six. That's all we can say for right now. Now here we have a two group that has one group here, two groups here, and three groups here. So we have to remove one group, and the only way to do that is to connect up these two tiles with a tile in between. Now we have two completed groups. And then here, we have five, uh, we have four in this five cluster. We will use either this tile or this one, same as before. One of these will be marked, so the one in between, the one sharing both of these tiles, cannot be marked, or it would be a six cluster, no matter how you do it. So that has to be removed. Now we look back at the nine. We have six tiles in the nine. We know the nine cannot use this tile under any circumstances because then it would connect up to the five. So what are we left with? We have six tiles. We are only left with three tiles. All three of these tiles have to be marked, completing the nine and disconnecting it from the five. And then we get a three here. And then here we have two. Uh, a two group but that doesn't mean anything actually just here we have the five cluster that now is complete thanks to the three so this tile has to be removed and we finally get this tile for the two. Oh boy I guess that wasn't too long so I, I suppose I should do another one but man these are exhausting I'm just gonna get some water one second all right, let's get into assortment I believe this one is a relatively quick level two but still very tricky Let's see what we can do. So this one is just an assortment of group puzzles, basically. Just a, a lot of them, all of them are completely separate, so we just have to tackle them one by one. So, to start, uh, we have this. This two group needs two groups in these three tiles. Same as we saw before, but I guess I shouldn't say that because you might have been... You might not need help with the previous ones, so I'll have to explain it again here. So when you have three tiles, the only way to make two groups for a two is to remove the center tile. If the center tile is marked, then we can only have one group regardless of what we do. So the center tile always has to be removed and these two have to be marked. And we get a four here, so these two have to also be marked. And now we can look at, well, we can look at either one. So this one group has already one and these two tiles are disconnected. So neither of them can be marked because they can't be part of this single group. So these are both deleted. We get this tile and then here, this two group has one, we need to add in one more group. And the only way to do that is to mark this tile and remove this tile. If we were to mark this tile, then we would only have one group and no possibility to make a second group. So that has to be removed. And then these two have to be marked for the three here. This two group has only one, so we need one more group here. This one group has one and this is disconnected, so it can't be marked. And then this one lets us mark this tile. So that's the first little puzzle. Now this one, you have to think about a couple things. So here we have a three group. 
When you have a three group surrounded by six tiles, there are only two possible ways to complete it. And that is to have either this kind of shape, like this, these three, or this kind of shape, these three. There's no way in any, any way to have two tiles combined, two tiles uh, together in a row. Because if we were to mark, say, these two tiles, then that's one group, and then we disconnect it, and then we only have access to one more group. So to make three groups, we have to have single separated tiles, either these three or these three. Because of that, we know these two tiles can't both be marked for this three. So we will have one tile here, and then we have to use both of these tiles for this three. Now that gives us a tile for this three group. And as we said, they have to be single tiles, so we have to remove th these two, and then we have to add in two more separate groups, and the only way to do that is these two, and remove that. Now we get a three here, and the only way to make uh, add another separate group here is to use this tile and remove these two. Here we have a one group with two tiles, so we have to connect up both of them, and the only way is to just use all the tiles to make it one single group. Then here we have a one group with one group here, which means we cannot mark either of these two separated tiles, or it would make another separate group. So these are just removed. We get this tile for the one. Now here we have a two group, where we have one already, and the only way to add another group is to use this tile. So that is marked, and this is gone. Now this one group has a tile here, and these are completely separate, so neither of them can be marked, or it would make two groups. Then we get two here for this one, and finally, a two group here, so the center tile cannot be marked, and this one has to be marked. Now let's move on here. Two here. Um, since we marked this one, this uh, one tile, we don't know if it uses this one or not, but this one group cannot use either of these two squares because they are separate from this one, so these have to be removed. Now we mark this one, and since we marked these two tiles, this one group has to join them up. We have to have one chain, one cohesive chain, so both of them have to be marked. And then the zero here, and the one here. Now, this is a little tricky. So, now you have to think about what happens if we mark this tile yellow. We have a two group here, so if we mark this yellow, then we have one group here, and we would have to disconnect this tile and mark this tile to complete this two group. But if we've disconnected this tile, and we've marked this tile, then this doesn't work. This is a one group that would then have a gold tile here, a space here, and a gold tile here. So we would have two separate groups. So this tile is impossible to mark gold, and we have to remove it. And that gets us a one, lets us remove that, and then a two here, and then this one group has to connect up these two tiles to make it just one single group. Then over here, we can start right here. There's only five tiles surrounding this three group, which means there's only one configuration. We have to use these three tiles, the separate tiles that can't be touched by anything else, and then disconnect these two. And then three again here. And this one also only has one configuration. We have to use this tile, and we have to disconnect the uh, center tile here and mark this one. Now here we have two groups already. We can't add in a third group, so this one has to be removed. And here we need two groups, and we only have two available tiles, so they both have to be marked. Because of that, now this two, two group here has one group. We have to disconnect this tile and mark this one. Now we don't know if we're using both of these or only one, so I think that has to wait. But here we have one group here, and we already have a group here, so either we'll have one here, or two here, or three here. We don't know yet but we do know that this tile cannot be marked because that is completely separated from these three tiles and would be a second group, so that is removed. Now that gives us only three tiles remaining for this two group, which means, as we've seen before, this has to be marked, this has to be removed, and this has to be marked. This two is now done, and these are done, and the two here, and now this one group lets us know that we have to connect up these three tiles because otherwise they would be two groups. All right. I think it's the, the last one, finally. Now, here, this one is also a little tricky. Here we have a two group, and here we have a one group. So, for this two group, we cannot use none of these two tiles, neither of these two tiles. 
because if we remove both of these tiles, we would have two tiles here only in one group, and there would be no way to use another uh, add another group for this one. So the minimum that the two needs to get two groups is three tiles. So we have to have either these three tiles or these three tiles or like these three or uh, these three. It doesn't matter, but you cannot use only these two tiles, removing both of these. Because we need to use at least one of these two tiles, that means that the one group here will be completed using these two tiles. So these two tiles that are separated cannot have any tiles in them, or it would make it a two group. So these you can remove to begin this little puzzle. And then we get one here and one there. Two group here in three tiles means we have to remove the center. Two group here, one group here is already done, so this can't be added. And then two here, and now for this two group we have one here, we have to disconnect this one and add in the final tile here. Holy hell, yeah, I don't know, <laughs> these are, these levels are hard, they're very hard, but there you go. Hope you enjoyed, thanks for watching, next time I guess we'll do uh, probably like Twist and Wiggly or something, assuming I even have time, I know Twist is a very long one, I practiced that. Might be all I have time for, but we'll see. Bye-bye!